Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to talk about the plugin for Figma called HTML to Design. This plugin allows you to convert any website into a fully editable Figma designs. How it works? You install the plugin and you type the URL of the website you want to capture, and the plugin will generate the layout of the website in a Figma. The plugin is available in of two versions. Free version allows you to create up to 12 imports every 30 days, and a pro plan provides the same features but allows you to capture more websites uh, during the 30 day days uh, period. So let's try it. Uh, when I open the Figma file, I need to search for the plugin called HTML to design. And the next thing I need to do is to basically type the URL of the website I want to capture. In my case, I want to capture apple.com. And notice that I want to capture in a, this website in a desktop version. The plugin allows us to capture the different resolutions. For example, if I want to capture a mobile version of the website, I want to choose a phone version. But in my case, I want to stay with a desktop version. And once I click import, the plugin will start working and import the website of the design of the Apple website. One thing that I've noticed that uh, the time it uh, takes for the plugin to generate the website depends on the complexity of the website. So it uh, will take less time for the website like Apple, Apple landing page, I mean. But it might take more time when you capture complex websites like uh, CNN.com or any other news resources that has a lot of massive amount of information on that uh, website. So let's see what the plugin generated for us. As you can see, it generated uh, a really nested, nice nested model of the elements. And uh, we can navigate them using these Figma controls, such as we can navigate list items. And quite interesting, the Plugin also generated uh, SVG uh, elements like uh, Apple logo, for example. It's a uh, SVG vector element that you can basically use in your design. Another thing that you probably notice that uh, the plugin tried to do, use as much as possible uh, the styles that uh, Apple uses. Typography elements uh, like uh, headings are created in a SF uh, Pro Display font face. So we can easily modify these elements in our design. This is a great thing. Uh, so if we want to generate the same website, for example, in mobile version, we can just simply use the plugin again and choose the different resolution here and click import. Again, it takes some time for the plugin to import the design. And uh, another thing that I want to say about great about this plugin is that it also provides really nice naming for the elements. So, uh, for example, if we click on the elements like a shop now, it will share, uh, shows the element that is called uh, shop now. So the naming is the same. So this is a version that it generated for us uh, for mobile and it looks really great. Uh, the downsides of the plugin, well, the major problem that I noticed is that it doesn't uh, offer components or auto layout, which might be really valuable for some user, Figma users. But I think that it's a minor issues that uh, this plugin have. Otherwise, it's uh, really valuable for the task like uh, mood boarding or ideating with the different uh, designs. This is a really great option to capture a lot of the websites of your competitors, for example, or the, the designs that you like and take inspiration from them. Thank you.